Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and to a new video called how to make money exporting goods to Dubai. In this video, I am going to share everything I have learned over the last 15 years of starting, growing and scaling a profitable international business that makes serious money. And also I will share my research about the Dubai market. So this video is going to be divided into three parts. Firstly, we are going to be talking about the Dubai market and why Dubai could be a good choice for your import export business. Then we are going to go through a high level five step framework for how to actually build a profitable international business. And finally, we will go through 10 profitable products for exporting to Dubai so that you can make lots of money. So I am hoping that by the end of the video, whether you want to start a business or you are trying to grow a business, you can decide if to buy a good option for you or which products are better for your import export business goals. And thank you to 10 data for sponsoring this video but more on them later. Part 1 Understanding the Dubai market Later we will talk about how to start a profitable import export business. I just want to share a few notes and some numbers that I have taken from my research that help us to see the big picture about international trade business in Dubai. Dubai is a part of the United Arab Emirates and the country's trade and economic center. The United Arab Emirates which is the center of the Middle East for trade, logistics, media media and entertainment is a constantly developing country with the investment of many international companies to reduce its dependence on oil and oil products which are its main source of income the uae has diversified its business lines in the last 10 years and adopted a liberal trade regime that will provide all kinds of convenience to foreign investors in recent years steps have been taken to increase new business opportunities by making large investments in infrastructure and other assets for Expo 2020 held in Dubai. With its location, the UAE is an important getaway to other Gulf Corporation Council countries. Since its surface area and population are small, it has adopted the re-export method in foreign trade and has become an intermediary for all countries of the world. Two large ports named Mina Rashid and Jebel Ali and the luxury airline companies Emirates owned by the Dubai government bring vitality to the country's trade. 76.5% of its population of 9.95 million and 90% of its working population are foreign nationals. It is a highly international country with more than 200 nationalities. According to the IMF data, the UAE economy reached $410 billion in real terms in 2021. The UAE is approximately 3.5 times higher than the world average, with a GDP per capita of $42.9 thousand dollars. According to the International Monetary Fund data, the UAE economy, which grew by 2.3% annually in real terms in 2021. According to the International Trade Center data, the United Arab Emirates exported a total of $280 billion and imported $256.4 billion in 2021. So, with all this information, we can see the big picture clearly. And it shows when we are selling our products to Dubai, it is not just opening the country's doors. It also allows us to expand our business to other countries, especially Gulf countries. I have mentioned so much about Gulf countries, so let me explain shortly. The Arab states of the Persian Gulf refers to group of Arab states which border the Persian Gulf. There are seven member states of the Arab League in the region. These are Bahrain, Kuwait, Iraq, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. In my opinion, that's a great chance for international entrepreneurs like me and you. Part 2. The International Business Framework. How to actually build a profitable import-export business. Okay, so again, there are a lot of different ways of doing this, but I have tried to narrow it down to five things that I think make a profitable international business that will make you feel good when you are making money. And this is the method that I would follow if I was trying to start an import-export business from scratch. So, step one would be to figure out the niche and product that you are passionate about and try your best to validate the idea in the market. I want to help you create a business that gives fun, flexibility and a chance to build wealth around it. And part of that fun is making sure that the work you are doing is actually intrinsically enjoyable for you. So, if for example, you decided to sell machinery parts because you thought it could make good 
good money, but you had zero patience for machines or about machinery parts. It won't be a really feel-good business, you would be doing it just for the sake of making money. Which is fine, but that is not the vibe that we are going to try to go with a feel-good business. The goal is that we enjoy the business alongside the business making money. Now, this could be related to your passion or interest, like fashion, beauty products, electronics, or food stuff. It is like things like that are generally fairly easy to build a business around and learn all things easily about your product for you. Because we need to know all about the products we want to trade with for effective marketing and closing sales. And the learning process could be overwhelming when we choose a product that we have no patience for it. For me personally, that is things like technology, renewable energy, and sustainability. That is why I sell solar lighting products. And I am sharing my experiences with my YouTube channel. So, if you like the video and think it is valuable, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends or on your social media. It would be great support for reaching more people. So, the question for you is, what is the perfect product for your business? If you don't have any idea yet about it and you don't know what you are passionate about, that is totally okay. Finding a product you love is a lifelong journey. After you found your best product, you should research the demand for your product. Because our objective is not finding a new hobby, we want to start a profitable international business around that product. And I will tell you the 10 best products for exporting to Dubai so that you can make lots of money in the third part of the video. Maybe in that list you will find the perfect product you want to trade with. So keep watching. Step 2 is working on legal issues and regulations. After you have chosen the best product for your export import business, you should consider the product's legal requirements and regulations in your target market. This could be export and import licenses, product certifications, quality standards, packaging requirements, and so on. There are three different ways to find the legal requirements and regulations of your product. First, you can search online and you can use the ITC trade map website or your target country's government websites. Firstly, you learn your product's harmonized system code and then search with this code. Second, you can ask your country's trade attache in that country or ask that country's chambers of commerce. And lastly, you can learn from your customs agent. I know sometimes working on legal issues and regulations can be boring, but it is a crucial aspect of your business's success in the target market. So you have to pay attention to it. And then step three is define the right supplier for your international business. When we are talking about suppliers, we have two different scenarios. First, you might be your own supplier for your business. In this scenario, you don't need to worry about finding a supplier for you. You just focus on the legal requirements and regulations when producing your goods. And second, you buy goods from a domestic or international supplier and sell them. Here, before choosing a supplier for our business, first we have to define who is the right supplier for us. At that point, most newbies make mistakes in thinking the best supplier is who gives the lowest price to them. But you won't do that because I will share some other things you should focus on when you are defining the right supplier for your import-export business. Yes, I know all of us want to buy the products at the lowest price, but it would not be the best for us all the time. You should think broader when you are sourcing and defining the right supplier. You need to consider product quality, certifications, delivery time, and more. Here, when you are searching for the best supplier, it would be better to contact three or more suppliers at the same time. I will share some key points that you can ask your potential suppliers. Then you can make a comparison table, compare their answers, and you can choose the right one for you. These are price, product specifications, quality standards and certificates, minimum order quantity, production time, shipping type, estimated delivery time, payment terms, and warranty. You can add some more if you need to. And then we go through step four, and that is to find buyers and market your products. We can use various methods when trying to find international buyers for export business. Some of them are free and some of them are paid. But to be honest, one of the untold truths about money is you have to spend money to make money. But we need to use our budget efficiently. So here I want to introduce our sponsor Tendata. They provide one of the wisest and most efficient ways to find overseas customers with their platform.
platform which is called Tendata iTrader. Tendata is the leading provider of global trade data and solutions. Tendata is a company that has a platform called Tendata iTrader, which allows you to access import and export data from more than 200 countries, analyze market trends, find potential customers and suppliers, monitor competitors, and manage customer relationships. With Tendata iTrader, you can access over 10 billion import and export records, covering 90% of global trade volume, analyze market trends and opportunities with interactive charts and graphs, find potential customers and suppliers with more than 100 million buyers and sellers profiles, including their contact emails and social media accounts, monitor competitors and their activities with detailed trade data and analysis, manage customer relationships with CRM tools and email marketing campaigns. Tendata iTrader is the ultimate tool for import and export businesses. It can help you save time, money, and effort in finding new markets, customers, and suppliers. It can also help you gain a competitive edge in the global trade arena. If you want to learn more about Tendata and its services, you can visit their website or request a free demo. You can find the link in the description. Don't miss this opportunity to take your import and export business to the next level with Tendata iTrader. Try it today and see the difference for yourself. Thank you so much Tendata for sponsoring this video. And then step 5 is closing the deal and scaling the business. After you have found a customer and agreed on terms, now you have to work on closing the deal. So in international trade as an exporter, you may have to do some work to close the deal like preparing goods, packaging and ready to ship. And relation to your agreement, you may contact your shipping agent and transport your product to the agreed destination. Here, it would be better if you knew the basics of shipping. And good news for you, I have an ebook about it. You can just check out my Etsy store and get your copy now. You can find the link in the description. Later, you have to scale your business. But remember, if you try to scale your business too fast, it will put you under pressure and you may make mistakes. For scaling a business, you can find new customers in that market or new markets, or you can add new products related to your niche and expand your product range. And surely you have to try automate your business. It will give you more time to focus on growing and scaling your business. So now we are ready to go to part three and discover the best products for exporting to Dubai that could make more money. I have done golden research for investors and entrepreneurs who want to start exporting to Dubai or become an importer in Dubai. Now I am sharing this research with you. First, leather goods. The market size of luxury leather products in Dubai is 1.2 billion US dollars. You can enter the Dubai market with products such as high quality jackets, bags and shoes. And you can supply these products from China, Italy, France, Turkey, Vietnam, Thailand, Spain and India. For example, Italy has 19%, France has 15% and Turkey has a 6% leather products market share worldwide. Second, jewelry. The luxury jewelry market in Dubai is three and a half billion dollars. You can supply these products from various countries like Italy, Turkey, Switzerland, Thailand, Indonesia, India, and France. But in my opinion, Turkish jewelry could be great for Dubai and the Gulf market. Turkey is in the top 10 in the world jewelry exports. And if you consider that they love and watch Turkish TV series so much. You can cover the entire market with Ottoman motif jewelry and handcrafted jewelry. Third, carpets. Dubai has an average annual carpet import of $100 million. You can gain a valuable market share with luxury specially designed carpets. And you don't need to search which country is the best for supplying because Turkey is the leader in world carpet exports. Fourth, coffee. As a global hub for trade and commerce, Dubai offers a strategic location for coffee exporters and importers. However, exporting and importing coffee to Dubai requires compliance with various regulations and procedures, including obtaining the necessary licenses and permits, complying with labeling requirements, and paying import duties. The coffee market in Dubai has reached $450 million. You can share your strategy, especially for hotel and coffee chains. You can buy coffee from countries such as Brazil,
Brazil, Colombia, Vietnam, and Indonesia. If you want to act a little more specifically in the market, you can think of Turkish coffee. If you visit Dubai, you probably find Turkish coffee everywhere. So you can enter the market with your own brand. Fifth, spices. Spices are important component of many cuisines around the world and are often used to add flower, aroma, and warm to dishes. Spice imports in Dubai are $150 million annually. India is the largest exporter of spices in the world, with a market share of around 43%. Other major exporters are Indonesia, China, Vietnam, Brazil, Iran, Egypt, and Turkey. And if we think the majority of the population in Dubai consists of Indians and they consume a lot of spices, I can easily tell you that the Dubai market is a treasure trove for those who want to export spices. Sixth, silk products. The demand for silk products is constantly increasing in Dubai. They love luxury. You can cover every part of the home with silk curtains, pillows, and home decoration products. Seventh, specially designed furniture. The luxury furniture market in Dubai exceeded 2 billion US dollars. You can furnish luxury residences in Dubai with magnificent furniture with modern and original designs. For example, Turkey's furniture exports exceeded 3.5 billion US dollars in 2020. So you can find suppliers from Turkey. Or you can consider unique thick wood furniture from Indonesia, Vietnam, or Thailand. 8. Nuts. Dried nuts imports in Dubai reach $75 million a year. You can export hazelnuts, peanuts, piscatios, walnuts, almonds, or cashew nuts to Dubai. And for hazelnuts, Turkey provides 70% of the world's hazelnut production. So if you want to import or export hazelnuts, you can directly search for suppliers in Turkey. 9. Olive oil. Olive oil imports in Dubai exceed 25 million US dollars annually. You can join the healthy lifestyle trend in Dubai with organic and high quality olive oil. And remember, the number of people using olive oil continues to increase every year. You can supply olive oil from Spain, Italy, Turkey, Greece, Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria, or Portugal. 10. Of course, textile products. Textile imports in Dubai are over 3 billion US dollars annually. And demand for textiles among importers in Dubai has been rising steadily each year. Dubai import textiles from all across the world to meet the rising demand for textiles, not only in the Gulf markets, but also in Dubai's re-export markets in Africa and the larger Middle East market. They especially import from China, India, Bangladesh, Italy, Turkey, Vietnam, Indonesia, the USA, and Pakistan. So you can search for suppliers from these countries. So that is the 10 best products to export to Dubai. And it is a sort of high level approach to how to make serious money exporting to Dubai while also having fun and enjoying your life along the way. If you go to end of this video, I would love to know what did you find interesting or not interesting about this. Also, you can share your business ideas in Dubai or product ideas to export to Dubai. I will be happy to see your ideas in the comment below. Okay, my friends, if you want to learn more ways of starting an import export business from scratch or finding overseas buyers, all that kind of stuff, check out these two videos over here, which are giving you some ideas and opening new doors for you. So thank you so much for watching. Do hit the subscribe button if haven't already. And you can support me by joining my channel or sending super thanks. I appreciate you guys for helping me to reach more people. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.